This is A Hoops. This is Tommy Dency, eighth season now at the helm of Binghamton men's basketball. Uh, you got a great facility here, new court now. Uh, why don't we why don't we start with there? We see it behind us, but that's a little outdated now. Yeah, that one's not the same one now. We put the you know we put the B in the court, and I think we you know we changed the the logo uh, from down to the BU to the B, uh, and, and you need to you know when you change your logo, you want to be able to promote that. So uh, we were able to do that in center court. Coach, uh, you had a big win last year in the AE playoffs over Stony Brook on the road. We know how difficult it is. That doesn't happen very often. You guys were the seventh seed. Going to Stony Brook, who was the two seed, how'd you pull that off? Well, unfortunately, we've had some experience in road playoff games. You know, I know that's not the, that's not the goal, but we had kind of, um, you know, been through it before a couple of years where we had to go on the road. And we played, we played well a couple of times uh, in the first round of the playoffs and didn't win. And um, we just went in, you know, we went in with a lot of confidence. The guys... They, they, they hung with it all year and they never, you know, they never gave in. A lot of times when, if you're not having a great year and you give in late in the year, uh, you know, it doesn't really set you up to win, to, to win in that spot. But I, I knew that we had a puncher's chance going into it just because of the way our guys prepared. I still felt the energy and enthusiasm, um, you know, late in the year. And, and then we just um, got off to a great start, which certainly, that certainly helps, you know, and if you, if you're in a tough environment and um, you're, you know, a considerable underdog, if you don't get off to a great start, it can take your spirit. But if you get off to a great start, it kind of builds that, you know, builds that belief. And, uh, you know, we were able to really extend and have a big lead at halftime and then just um, kind of hung out for dear lives in, in, in the second half, hung out for our lives in the second half. But uh, we're able to get it done. It was a good step, good step forward for our program. And to be able to, you know, compete in a semifinal game was, a, was a, you know, kind of a logical next step that we needed to make. You have coached an NBA lottery pick in Jason Thompson when you were at Ryder. Uh, his jersey's hanging up in your office right through that wall, <laughs> autographed Kings jersey. Uh, the guards in this league have been good. We've had NBA guards in J.J. Barea, who's mm -hmm. won an NBA title with mm -hmm. the Mavericks, Speedy Claxton. Where do you think you can say Sam could take his game to if yeah. he's if he's graduating from here and taking it to another level. The one place that I would compare them, although one's six ten, six eleven, and one's maybe five eleven. I don't know what we <laughs> list them as, but um, the, the the area where I would compare them the most is the drive and the work ethic, and that's uh, you know that, that that's as important as, as as probably anything. If you you know you have an opportunity when you get to this level to to showcase yourself, and, and once you get to a point where you're one of the main players on the team, like. You know, you can get stagnant too, and and, and to get to that next level, um, that 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 drive and that work ethic, and, and like letting your daily actions meet your goals and those kind of things that we always talk about become really really important. And, and the one comparison I would make very favorably to the both of them is they were, you know, Sam's very very driven as Thompson was, and that's something that is you know kind of the price of admission. Appreciate the time, Coach. Right. That's Tommy Dempsey. This is AE Hoops.